But all right. So I saw on my YouTube timeline that I got recommended this video because of the fact that I have watched Total Drama like throughout my childhood. Like we're talking about like the tr Total Drama Island action world tour, um, Pocketo Island, Revenge of the Island, um, Redonkulous Race. I've I've seen all of those, and but I haven't seen the recent one that they have uploaded um, somewhere. But people are already watching it and they're saying that it's amazing. It's a lot more. It's a breath of fresh air. And now there's a topic that's being talked. And, and obviously, uh, this is a video from Drama Theory that is, is this Venture Camp better than Total Drama? Like, obviously, I have seen the beta version of this Venture Camp season one and how it went. Like, I definitely loved, like, the route it gave the sense of Total Drama Island with a little bit of a palette of what's it called um their own mix-ups and then we got to like the season two which was obviously like their startup where they started to doing the dub in english and spanish and you, we saw how it was how we, how these characters um developed as we grew um like as like um like the same thing with me when i watched total drama island i love the characters and the developments um i also felt the same kinship um for this venture camp characters how like some of these characters that uh, they're like yo like i want to see what this character is going to be about and then we get to see a development further on like the episodes as it goes through and just how they would react like when they have alliances when they have betrayals when they have all this other stuff just like total drama but now there's that question of is it better than total drama knowing the fact that mm, i mean it's a total debate and it will come up to me like that question whether if i enjoyed this venture camp or if i enjoyed total drama i mean it all just depends like how i'm going to react to it like when i get to the chance to react to the new season even though they said good stuff about it and this venture camp knowing that it's going in a good route and there's a huge fan base for it and whenever i do a reaction people in the comments already comment on it so obviously um they're goats as well and they love the show um how it's going so honestly let's see what Drama theory has to say about this. Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Ferrari and Lamborghini. Throughout history, there have always been underdogs who took the spotlight from bigger projects. <laughs> but could this be the case with Total Drama and Disventure Camp? In today's episode, we will answer one of the most debated hot takes in the entire fandom. <laughs> could Disventure Camp steal Total Drama's spotlight? Now, for us to Well, I mean, I would say yes, because of the fact that this fan show that were created by fans um it has been showcased or like weekly like almost like weekly like we were expected from a cartoon network basis uh, that like stay tuned for next week and we'll give you the next episode and next week and next week and next week and next week like going like in that same route and in one way you could say yes it's better right now because like we're getting to see the content now and it's free for everyone on the platform YouTube than if you were to go on later on, like give it like one or two months, like once um, this venture camp is over, total drama starts um, being uploaded on max. Cause that's what I'm assuming that's going. That, that's what I've heard stuff about. And obviously the people like won't get that privilege to see it free unless it gets re um, unless it gets run on television, which it just all depends. Um, but yeah, like people don't get that privilege of free because they have to pay uh, to for a subscription, which would be max. So obviously that's the one point that gives it the better. But obviously I don't know what to expect. Like I'm not judging because of the fact of the paywall going in through. But it's just what I'm seeing that we're getting this venture camp first, and it's free for everyone. And if you want to watch Total Drama, um, the new season, there's ways, but I'm not gonna go to it. Like I've just heard stuff about like where they could see it. So decide who is better we will compare some aspects from both series and for each aspect one of them will get a point the series which has more points will win the contest for those of you who don't know the story of this venture camp began two years ago in a period where it was pretty sad to be a total drama fan after season five didn't live up to the expectation and drama rama became the main project of that time oh yeah i forgot Fresh tv seemed drama rama lost its edge so then yeah, like two it. big fan-made projects were released total drama Oh, yeah, I remember, um, what's it called, Blue Production, they were saying, yo, like, we actually made a total, like, continuation for, um, total drama for all you fans to see where exactly they ended off 
in this story and obviously like when i saw i was like yo like they're actually gonna be like talking about it and we get to see these characters and like we saw the or i saw the like not not to see the pilot episode but i saw like a glimpse of the, the trailer they were going for um because i think the pilot episode which was like the episode one it only lasted like a week and then after that like, it got canceled because of um, legal issues and um, drama theory might go through it but i don't know but like it's still being re-uploaded so if you want me to check it out but i'll probably do like the what's it called the reaction basis where I react to it, but I'm adding, like, stuff around it, like I've done with the other stuff, like, we're going, like, the the shows, animes, etc., that have reacted here on the channel, if you want me to go that route, um, give this video a like, and I'll try to find the re-upload of this video, and I'll do a reaction to it. From a reunion, about which we already have an episode linked in the description, and Adventure Camp, and we said Adventure Camp because that's the original that name was the of beta. Adventure Camp. At first... Adventure Camp started as a clear imitation of Total Drama, mm -hmm. which, despite the small budget and the poor animation, managed to get fans good. interest. But after the show's popularity continued to grow, Season 2 changed the series' name into Disventure Camp and took things to another level. Of course, there were still similarities between Disventure Camp and Total Drama, but now the old imitation became an actual series with its own fans and reputation. So after that, yeah, like, obviously, you can see the reputation of how it went well, and obviously, like, people got invested in, in this, like, show, because, um, as I was watching the beta, uh, season, not a lot of people, like, gave attention to it, but, like, when it started going with season two, which, obviously, the budget started getting a little bit higher, um, voice acting started to come up for English dub, and, obviously, um, Spanish as well, and the animation started looking a lot more different. It gave a sense of holy crap. Like like we should not sleep on this. And actually start watching it. And seeing what it's about. And I've seen like throughout like the whole run of season 2. People started going on my videos. When I did, did my reaction to it. And they're giving me like their point. Like saying oh like yeah like I love this character. Oh I hated this character. Oh I can't wait to see what's going to happen in this episode. Because this episode could indicate this. Or this episode could indicate that. And I love the community of this venture camp because obviously they're all wholesome. The creators from Odd Nation Cartoons even deleted the original Adventure Camp and started making a prequel for season two. I mean, when they said delete it, not really because you could still like find it because they have it in like their I think their second channel or their sub channel or it's in their files still like in the YouTube. Um, description if you go on their um, channel odd nations cartoons I think it was uh, before like they like changed like stuff about it but you can search it up because obviously like I was that's the reason why I was able to find the beta which was um, season one which is where we're at right now um, but in Spanish now, just to give you a quick idea how good the series became and how real the competition is between it and total drama Fresh TV tried to cancel this venture camp with the reason that fans might confuse it with the new Total Drama Island 2023. Ooh. We all know that it's bullshit because in reality, Fresh TV doesn't want any real competition. Mm -hmm. Now, for our contest to be fair, and because the competition is for the present fans, we will compare Total Drama Island 2023 with the first season of this venture camp. Okay. The first thing we want to discuss are the characters, and we will start with the introduction. In this case, Total Drama Island 2023 did a pretty good job, because mm -hmm. from the audition tapes, we could tell immediately what is the deal with every character's personality. Like... Okay. And then watch them get really And then hurt. here's everyone's favorite character, which is Scary Girl. And they're making theories about that this character could be someone else. Camp, things aren't that clear, and you have to wait until half of the first episode to start figuring out what's the deal with everybody. But that's what I love about, like, that whole sense. Like, yes, in the beta version, um, they also gave audition tapes. Like, like how um, Drama Theory was going for. Like, um, it was a similar iteration of total drama like they're they like they went fully like almost like it um just it was low budget but um uh, whatchamacallit um it flowed almost like total drama it had the audition tapes but obviously i i think i didn't react to them um but they had audition tapes and then they did like the whole um beta season and 
obviously like it gave that same sense but in this one it was good because you're getting an indication of what these characters are going to be like because in the beta version like you saw little glimpses of character development here and there but in this one you see character development happen you're seeing like how they are like gabby for one like in the beta i don't think like she was more like out there but in this one she is very out there like she literally has a talking double um as a voice like saying that she has her good side and she has her bad side which is the second voice um obviously um these other characters that that weren't given the shine now get their shine and we get to see like how they are and how they react and stuff like that like it's it's a real um treat to like what's it called um analyze these characters as we see an episode go because other than their name, the contestants got nothing to start with. But the character's introduction is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. Because the key ingredient stands in each contestant's stereotype and character development. When it comes to stereotypes, it's a bit tricky to make a decision. Because True. on one side, there are the Generation Z teenagers from Total Drama Island 2023, mm. who, besides the fact that they're an interesting choice, are also very relatable. Come on now. These yeah. days, wherever you go, there's an influencer or a YouTuber around. So sure. it is fun to see them in total drama as normal teenagers. On the other side, there are the contestants from Disventure Camp. And although some of the stereotypes were interesting, like an old grumpy lady, a genius mm -hmm. kid, a cowboy girl, an intellectual, they uh -huh. didn't feel so relatable. Not just for everyday life, but, they expanded. but also because they seemed like characters from last decade's movies. Not to mention that characters like Will and Grant were clearly inspired by old Total Drama yes, contestants that's like I DJ saw that. and Sugar. So for the character stereotypes, the point goes to Total Drama Island 2023. Okay, and here for comes our next point of discussion, character development. Ah, uh, this one's gonna, uh, this Venture Cam is definitely gonna get that win. And why the hell did I do when that noise was my cheek? Uh, sorry, if you heard that, <laughs> that was my cheek. <laughs> but obviously, for characters, yes, yeah, like, like, more people would fall into the realm of being more relatable than obviously something that, like, is not related to us, um, the people that are watching it, whether it's, um, from the demographic that's going forward to more fans that were from old times. Um, yeah, I would assume that would be like more the case. Like if it's more to the time, um, you would get a better reception. From this point of view, this venture can pretty much destroy Total Drama Island 2023. And here's why. Starting with Total Drama Action, in mm -hmm. every season the focus was put more and more on the contest itself get and it less crazier. on the small moments that give Total Drama that special vibe. On the mm. other hand, this venture Cam puts a lot of focus on exactly these kinds of moments and interactions. From the first minutes, people start making alliances, breaking them, switching teams, and planning schemes. It was cool to see more private moments between contestants. And as the show goes on, we got hints about the character's past and personal life that got us more and more hooked on the story. Yes, and that's the best part about um, this venture camp is their storytelling because obviously like the the challenges seem very simple and then when they go to like the most serious ones like they're saying oh you're gonna have to do this action or this in the challenge and this is what it's gonna indicate for you um obviously like you still see more of the development like yes the the crazy scale is not high enough um as season two did but it, it balances out because in this first season it's the start of the season it's the start of something um basically from what it started from which was the beta um but you see more development and you see it in season two as well like you see the craziness but you also see the development as well combined so you see the differentiation of season one and season two and the fact that we're going back to season one like um it brings a breath of fresh air to what we saw in in the beta version now being able to be revamped and uh, redone to become season one that we have now and you see the development for sure for every character like the old lady that that was in the beta like her development was so slow but in this in this season now cleaned 
um she has way more development and she tells a backstory and i loved it and she was became my favorite character out of that um we also see the other characters and their backstories and obviously you feel for them and obviously like you want to root for them to win and stuff like that plus there were even redemption arcs of characters like miriam yes. when she changed her entire personality i knew and it became good in total drama julia had a similar change in personality and it was awesome but it was kind of the only big plot twist of the season. So, so their the puke is rainbowish. The point goes to this <laughs> venture camp. One interesting thing is that both of the shows have two villains. For Total Drama Island 2023, there are Bowie and Julia. And for this venture camp, there are Damn, Ren I'm already getting the spoilers. Although the concept but of obviously Fiore I know that this could go genius out. was interesting in theory and made a good plot twist. Her being one of the villains didn't exactly feel so threatening. Yes, but obviously, like, I don't go with that whole aspect that, like, dude, like, she, she would not be a good villain. Bro, there is a fan base out there for this venture, from the this venture camp, um, uh, fans that they love her being the villain because obviously, like, she is very evil and hides it over her innocence that she is, like, seen as a child. And people saying, like, dude, like, if, if she's not in there, like, obviously there's no conflict in it. Like, who else would be, like, because everyone else seems more in, like, their own character. And she obviously could be seen as that. Like, she she could be innocent and she could be evil at the same time. And people wouldn't notice. And as the show goes by, people didn't notice until the last recent episode. Which, um, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend you to check it out. And obviously... If you want to see my reaction, also, like, check it out as well. It's on my channel. But, yeah, like, obviously, she has gone through thick and thin with that whole stance. So, she is a freaking villain to be not messing with. Of course, she is smart and she has the element of surprise. But just think about it. Even if she makes it to the finals, in the end, she is just six years old. Also, Greg was like a nerfed version of Heather from season one combined with some of Sugar's personality. Now, but that's why there's someone else. This, Bowie and Julia have more of that special villain vibe. After Julia got exposed, she got on beast mode and pretty much kicked both Ripper and Bowie's asses in less than 30 seconds in the kitchen. But that's what's gonna happen now with Fiore, which obviously, like, she obviously kept her innocence and obviously her evil side um, concealed for so long enough to become where it's at in the show. And now that she has to come clean that she is evil, now she's gonna go on beast mode and she's gonna try to eliminate everyone that's seen as a hero and it's just gonna get crazy like you don't know how it's gonna go with her development in what's it called um villainous because obviously in the beta if you have seen the beta how she literally manipulated her way to become a finalist in that one we could see the same plot line go in the same route and yeah like i'm saying she was a villain to um what's it called be reckoned because she was freaking terrifying so she was very capable of winning challenges and not letting anyone stand in her way. Also, Bowie's much more subtle with his manipulation and knows how to win other contestants' trust. So for the villains, the point must go to Total Drama Island 2023. Mm, I will try to but analyze that more when important it comes than the villain is the storyline. Although Total Drama Island 2023 was a good season and was interesting to watch, there was it no plot like elements that would have made it truly awesome. And not because of the characters or the challenges, but rather of the lack of plot twists and originality. While this venture camp, literally after half an episode, starts hitting us with surprises after... Yes, like, it's going with the same, um, like, what's it called? After credits, um, scene that they want to showcase. Like, it's going to, like, a big story, like it did with the beta. I don't know, like, like I already, like, gave this question, but I don't know if it's going to give the same vibe as the beta where it's the same plot line for the mid credit scene where it's going from or it's probably going to be another surprise but if it's a big surprise that i don't even expect it that'll be crazy surprises also they have that part of the story with jensen being a wanted criminal and tom a secret agent sent after him that gives a more serious tone to the series mm -hmm. so for the storyline the point goes to this venture camp yeah the storyline feels incomplete without someone to narrate it 
So the next point of our comparison are the hosts. And here, this venture camp didn't stand a chance against Total Drama Island 2023. Because here's mm -mm. Chris McLean we're talking about. It doesn't matter how good the competition is. Like, this man is freaking insane. He's crazy. And obviously, with season two of this venture camp, we see that the same crazy aspect with another character who supposedly um it's it's not canon but because obviously it's fan made but if it was canon we'll basically see the similarities but this man is just crazy for the sake of craziness throughout like the whole run of total drama but i don't know about um 2023 because they said i think he went through like a downgrade like he's he's a normal host but it still has his crazy antics so maybe i don't know there's no total drama without him, and there's no better host, ever. However, it was interesting to see two hosts in this venture camp, especially with Derek and Trevor being the typical bad cop, good nice cop duo. But it wasn't emo. enough to beat the legend. Mm -mm. Now, let's talk about the challenges. In this venture camp, they were pretty interesting and not overly oh, complicated yeah, the like some from water and drama in, in the cup. The first challenge especially was pretty simple and entertaining compared to the first one from Total Drama Island 2023. That's why because they, they've they already gone through years of everything that they could go for. Like they could give different challenges now that they're at a run that's been for so long. This Venture Camp has only been there for like, I don't know how long it's been. Like it's if we could say a total of three years, um, it just goes from there. Like it's trying to make it small um, short and sweet with the challenges because they're trying to give off a storyline as well. Like they want to go beyond what's is beyond and they have killed it for sure. But when it comes to challenges, they're going to win it because they have gone through so many years and so much craziness that Chris has gone through with his contestants that he had. So it's no uh, shot that the challenges were going to be crazy. Like, seen from every well, season, it's Chef always been crazy. Stay almost two minutes to explain it. But unfortunately, the challenges from this venture camp didn't feel original. Instead, they're just, they're it just felt simple. Like watching old Total Drama challenges with different designs and characters. Mm -hmm. Where in the case of Total Drama Island 2023, although there were some old redesigned challenges, most of them felt more original. So the point for the challenges goes to Total Drama Island 2023. Production? However, an interesting fact is that besides the immunity, in this venture camp, after each challenge, the winning team gets a reward to help them survive. Like yeah. an extra tank like they start. or fishing equipment. And that's because here, contestants don't have cabins, only tents. And they must find food and other resources on their own. Which is survival. This not only makes the show in more interesting sense. to watch, but also gives the series more originality. Mm. And of course, when we talk about the quality of sound, voice acting, animation, and all the technical details. Oh my gosh, dude. Total Drama's gonna win it. Because obviously, it's a big production that gets more of a chance to be, um, uh, what's it called? concise with their sound concise with their voice acting because obviously for this venture camp it's people that is the community us the community us the watchers um that if you want to like go ahead and come out of our shells and actually go ahead and work on this project and then we will be in a room like how i'm doing like in my room um talking to you guys on a mic right here it's like the same aspect as well like there could be outside sound coming in and i could still be talking here and they would use that for the final production, yes, they'll try to find a way to get away that outside sound, but it will still be in there. So it becomes, like, not too um, concise and well, like how Total Drama would. Total Drama Island 2023 yeah, gets the point, and it is clear why. Because we talk about a war between a crew of fans versus an entire company, so it is mm -hmm. not exactly a fair fight. But hey, that is just how life goes. Total Drama remains the goat of this type of series. But we have to admit that this venture camp is pretty awesome and becomes better and better with every episode. See, that's what, that's what I'm saying. As the episodes keep going, it always has something amazing. And obviously, the fan base keeps growing and growing and growing. And people make theories about this and um, they want to see like which, which one of their favorite characters could win in, in this competition and that's that's what's great about it so obviously like they still have their points like this they held their points like even though total drama had its flaws 
<laughs> this Venture Cam had the upgrades for it. So obviously, it's it, it it's kind of there. It was kind of like almost similar, but obviously Total Drama was gonna win because it's has bigger much of production and obviously with more work and voice lines and acting and sound and everything like it has more of that than this venture camp which is small something so big we will to keep an small. eye on it and maybe we will make another video about it if you want that make sure to tell us in the comments until then take care mm. and see you next time with a brand new video <laughs> I mean, they should actually make another video for, like, the follow-up um, once the season is over for this Venture Camp. Because they did go, like, to, I don't know what extent, because, like, this video is, like, four days old. And I think it's going to, like, the place of, um, it's going to the place of, like, where we're at right now in the season. But go from talking about it to the end of the series and then make the whole argument again and go from there like maybe it might get a slight change of winning but not not by a long side but overall i i love the video for sure and it gives a pure concise of that debate whether this venture camp is better or total drama is better but obviously we saw the reasons why they're better and why they flaw and Honestly, like, I do agree with the same fact um, based on what I've seen from, obviously, uh, what Drama 3 has presented to us about the 2023 version to this Venture Camp. So, yeah, whenever um, Total Drama 2023 comes out on Max, uh, hopefully I get to check it out and react it for you guys. And I'll see whether it was a good teaser or not, like how people are saying. But overall, this was an amazing video. Let's go.